Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So Winbridge has sent me yet another toy to play with. This is what they call the original voice amplifier S209. It's a little step up. We're getting up the line here a bit. Anyway, so you guys know I've been doing some reviews for this company and the last one was on their big karaoke machine. Unfortunately, it didn't do so well. So we're going to check this one out that I just got from them today uh, in the mail and uh, see how well it fares uh, compared to the other smaller versions that they have sent me. So let's uh, see what we got in the box. So we do have our user manual and we have our main unit here. I like the looks of this one. It's got a nice look to it, nice and flat there. We do have a USB uh, main port, so basically type A USB port. Uh, type C charge port, as well as microphone in for the headset and auxiliary in. So this way, if you want to use the cable and plug in like an older iPhone or uh, iPad, Android device, you know, be it a tablet or a phone, um, maybe you got an old CD player kicking around, right? Remember those Walkman style CDs? I actually still have one. And uh, anyways, you can plug that into there and listen to your music and be all portable off battery. This does have a rechargeable battery in it too, of course, because of our charge port. We do have a belt clip as well, which is uh, kind of like it's pretty sturdy. So, and we got a set of hooks for a strap. Now this thing also does have Bluetooth as well, so you can connect wirelessly to your Bluetooth um, you know, device, be it a phone or a tablet, whatever, and just stream wirelessly. You know why I have cables if you don't need them, right? Now, we are not going to be doing the test of the Bluetooth uh, on camera. does work, though, um, and it is because of simply that YouTube will jump down my neck for copyright music. But I do have some music we can play for you, though, through the uh, USB. So that's not going to be a problem. Anyways, so let's see what else we've got in here. Okay, it looks like that's the end of the contents. So, we do have our headset, which we'll take out in a second. We do have the included 8th inch stereo mini jack cord. So, like I said, CD Walkman, whatever, away you go. And we do have a USB charge cable. Now, there is no brick, so you are going to need a USB brick. Um, in order to plug in and charge it or plug into the USB port on your computer or if you've got a USB brick kicking around somewhere, away you go, okay? So you're all good to go. I do like the USB-C charge cable thing. That's actually pretty cool. And of course, we do have our included strap. Um, looks like they're continuing on with the uh, good quality clips. I like that. Um, the one unit I got from them really wasn't too fond of the clips. They were pretty, uh, well, not very good quality. But, you know, I mean, they work, but these are just a lot simpler to deal with. We just got to flick this sucker in the right way, and there's one. And our second one. Away we go. And we have a fully adjustable strap, so we can hang this off of our shoulder if we want to and uh, adjust the length as required, you know, so it hangs down low. Pretty handy for 100% hands-free. Uh, so let's grab our headset out and let's try this up. Now they do claim 16 watts and uh, yeah, I'm definitely, you know, it's one of those things, I'm not sure where the wattage rating is actually coming from that um, it's 16 watts. Uh, just because, I mean, I've got, if you look behind me, I know you can't really see it, but beside the iPad is a Boss Katana Air um, guitar amp that is like 30 watts off of hydro or 20 watts um, from battery power. And let me tell you, that thing is like eight times louder than, you know, any of the other units like this I've tested. So, yeah, we're thinking wattage is a little on the underrated side, but... You know what it's still probably going to be pretty loud for us so that's the important thing as long as we got some volume kicking around we're good and we'll just set up our mic turn it on 
Looks like we got pretty much a full battery from the looks of things. And we are at full blast. There we go. All right, so uh, where are we here? Okay, so that's uh, 16. So that, that's actually quite loud, and uh, we can definitely get it going a lot louder by putting the microphone a lot closer. That is actually, it is quite loud. I'm not sure about the whole 16 watt thing. I'd probably give her an easy good, oh, uh, five, six watts. You know, that, I think that would be reasonable to, to, to judge by the amount of uh, loudness we're getting here. So, so that's not too bad. Um, wow, that's, uh, yeah, it's going to feed back this close. So, uh, well, we're a little tangled here. Let's just get untangled and we'll uh, plug her back in. Okay, so there we, there we go. We got to really watch the direction there. Uh, so anyways, we do have uh, a mode button here as well. We can change over to Bluetooth. And of course, we do have our, uh, that, it's still saying mic, but that's going to probably be another feature. It's not listing right now and Bluetooth so so that's going to be our USB so let's uh, let's grab a USB stick here now this is my own music that I've written myself playing myself so it's not a problem One, two, three. this is full blast I see with new eyes so it is going to take over the music when you're trying to play an mp3 at the same time so singing along probably is not going to be the world's best so as soon as you stop talking it actually um, comes back to the music so the mic does override that's actually pretty good and I switched strictly to microphone. And you can just uh, hot unplug that. Okay, so um, let's uh, just do some vocal testing like we did with that other uh, amp one time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ah. pretty clean the uh, last mini one I tested we did some vocaling on it and it sounded like it had an oscillation issue because like you know this one's actually really good so very impressive uh, so looks like uh, in this one we've definitely got some uh, things that are much better than the last unit that was in this size category so let's see um, what other features we do have because we do have a an R button up here which is usually for record so I wonder if we can record our stuff on here. Uh, how to play? Oh, how to play recording? After inserting a U disk, short press of the record button to start recording. The bottom of the screen displays record, so we can actually record what we are doing. That is awesome. So um, you know what? Let's give that a try. But first, what I want to do is I want to wipe out this stick. And then this way we don't have to worry about music getting played over top. Okay, so now we have nothing on here, or should have nothing on here. Check, check, one, two, one, two, one, two. So we're going to press record now. And uh, we are now recording. So testing one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. And now we've stopped it, so it should have saved it.
trying to get this thing to play it. Okay, we're, 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 ouch. we're back to recording again. We're back to recording again. So stop that. When you crank things full blast, you kind of feedbacks a bit. So how to play the recording. After inserting the U-disc, short press of the... Which button is this? Hmm. It's hard to read that. Let's try this first. Let's unplug it. So it's not going to automatically play it. The, the print, the printing is so small on here. It's hard for me to uh, read this without it. Well, I got my glasses on. But I think I'm going to need a magnifying glass here. After inserting the disc, short press of the R button to start recording. The bottom of the screen displays record. Recording time, blah, 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 is displayed on the middle of the screen. Short press button to return to the current playback status. The recording file is saved. Long press the record. Oh! To play it. Okay, so long press of the R. Recording again. We're back to recording again. So stop that. <laughs> A little too and, much feedback. Uh, we are now recording. So testing one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, we get it. So um, definitely, definitely, um, this thing's got a lot of volume to it. It is quite loud, but guys, seriously, it's not 16 watts. Um, I would definitely give it around between five, six, seven watts, and in around that area, but not, not no sixteen, that's for sure. Okay, so um, I'm curious as to the file type that it, they use on this. Oh, MP3. Okay, so use a straight MP3 file, so you can just play them back on your computer. All right, so overall, here's my thoughts. We do have a decent strap, okay? Um, it's got really good quality hooks. The unit itself, I think, is very good. Um, I do like the fact that it's nice and flat, and I love the black color, definitely. I think the majority of us would, would love to have black. Maybe some people might want blue, red, or pink. I have no idea what colors it'll come in. Um, but it does have a, a fairly large speaker. It looks like probably somewhere, almost a three inch speaker uh, looking at this, but it could be somewhere around two inch range. Okay, it doesn't get into the, that great of detail here as far as speaker size goes. Recording is, is actually quite simple to do. Um, playing back, I mean, like I said, I had a hard time reading the instructions. Uh, because of the, the print is a little bit fine. Uh, we, you know, they draw you a little circle with the, you know, little button icon in it. And, you know, that was hard. But at least we know it is a long press of record. So, um, so you, you, after inserting the disc, short press of the button to record. Um, again, uh, the recording time displayed. Short press to stop it. Um, returns to playback status. But it doesn't play back the file right away. So you do have to actually push and hold for a few seconds on the record button or R button to start playback. So this is actually quite neat um, the way they set this up. Now, like I said, the Bluetooth actually does work on this thing. It's not a problem um, with this unit. It's it's working fine. Um, but uh, as far as the rest of it goes, power output 16 watts. Hmm. 
2500 milliamp uh 2500 milliamp battery 10 to 15 hours of, of working time now i've done a lot of testing with the other units and their run time is actually somewhat accurate um this is why you have that 10 to 15 hour fudge time room right so you know you're going to get quite a few hours um of run time but that will be depending upon how much volume you're you're doing for listening back I mean the louder you go obviously it's going to chew up more uh power from the from the unit so it's gonna you know the amplifier has to work harder inside to produce a louder sound so therefore you drain the battery sooner but you should get in about i would say 8 to 12 hours to be more realistic um but they have 10 to 15 and that's fine um charging time three to four hours that would probably definitely be pretty accurate um we've opened this you know pretty much fresh i mean i, I didn't even bother to charge it up uh, myself I, I tested it ahead of time on a few things just for you know giggles and to make sure everything was good and then of course do the uh, full unboxing for you guys which is why i told you we're not testing bluetooth all the way it's been tested and it's fine works fantastic in this unit um far as the rest of it goes now the one thing i do think they do need to change because nothing's perfect you guys know that which is why you'll never get a five star rating the one thing i really don't like are these usb ports that they're using because it's kind of <sighs> sticks out and that leaves room for this to get banged bad and that could break the connection free inside that is one thing i'd like to see them change in any of these units is to ditch this style of port micro sd would be ideal uh, uh, for the uh, look, little miniature type cards you know push it in on a little spring release system whatever even a straight pop in and you can pull it out with something either way a spring clip release uh, would be ideal and micro SD um, because then everything's out of your way and you can always leave that micro SD card in there at all times you can have your music on there to play back you can record your stuff swap the cards out whatever now this is a 64 gig stick and it has no issues with it so using larger memory sticks is not going to be a problem and on 64 gigs you could fit <laughs> way too much for time for mp3s on here just listen back like all day no problem okay great to take to the beach just as is you know portable mp3 player take it to the beach you know you don't have to worry about you know your phone killing your phone battery kind of thing so that would be definitely a great use for this 25 milliamp 2500 milliamps it's gonna last a whole day at the beach no problem right sound clarity uh with the mic headset is actually very good i'm very happy with that uh the s209 is doing a wonderful job you know because we tried that little bit of you know vocal level and it seems that it's it's pretty clean so that that's very very well improved uh from one of the other units that i did test um as for everything else i think it's a good unit now they do gear this one to according to the box for teachers tour guides instructors youth counselors professors clowns and the elderly so in a small venue situation okay um probably not in massive loud areas unless it can echo pretty good you're gonna have to crank it full blast obviously but you could get out into some larger areas outdoors and still be heard for a fair amount of distance um you know these these units are actually pretty good for doing that with uh but otherwise small venue is kind of where you're at teaching and tour guide teachers that need to get more volume out to the students in a large classroom this could definitely help teachers out tour guides as you're going on your tour through wherever um, definitely a great use for that um, same with your instructors your youth counselors uh, professors well it depends on the size of the auditorium I mean if you're talking university college massive auditorium I mean those uh, type of situations professors would never need one of these things because they already have their own sound system in those big auditoriums where they're teaching mass size classes so probably not going to be the greatest for that uh, but in a smaller area yes um, clowns probably be okay for clowns i don't know i i've never seen a clown ever need a mic'd up system but they might 
And the elderly, well, it's good for the elderly to definitely hear you a lot better. Um, as for usage by an elderly person, I guess it would depend upon their use. However, that being said, it is a very decently quality built unit. Uh, like I said, I have done reviews on a few other than Windbridge. So if you even type in the title Windbridge on my channel, you will find the other units that I have tested from them as a comparison. So um, where I am definitely going to put this, I'm not going to really ding them on this whole wattage thing because we've been through that already so many times. Um, and I'm not sure where they get the wattage output of being 16 watts because guys, realistically, it's, it's not 16. It, it's got a few watts to her, definitely agree, and she's pretty loud, uh, which is the main thing here, and it's really clean. Even at full volume, it's pretty clean. Um, just watch you don't point it at your face like I was doing because you're going to get a lot of feedback that way. Um, but yeah, belt clip idea, definitely there. Over the shoulder with the strap, good idea. Nice, good quality, strong hooks, I like that, and easy to release as well. You know, so if you want to just take these off of here, they, uh, well, they're a little, you got to fool around with them a little bit, but there we go. Uh, it's just tricky to hold them in your fingers because they're, they're on swivels, which is nice. So they're a decent quality hook, so I'm okay with those. Um, what else? Well, where do we put this thing? I'm going to probably say, and we didn't check the auxin for you guys but yes, it works. Um, because everything I got on Oxygen, I've got one of those CD uh, Walkman things. Again, music, YouTube, gives me heck for it, copyright stuff. We're not gonna get into that. Um, so, um, the only real grub gripe I, I really have about this unit uh, in total is actually this USB port. They gotta get rid of it. Um, it's gotta go, replace it with a micro SD spring-loaded locking clip system you know for your memory cards that would be just perfect because um, like i said this is a problem when you got a stick sticking out and this is probably one of the smallest sticks um, that you can probably get you might be able to get smaller uh, this one's a, a dual usb it actually has usb uh, 3 on it as our usb c as well as the regular but either way this is still a pretty small tiny stick and that's still going to protrude out way too much i think and it leaves room for you know it being able to get banged or smacked against something if you put the unit down the wrong way this being in there could probably damage your card but is definitely going to also damage that port so they they do have to get rid of this port that i agree with um so i would say in total let's be real about this i am going to say i'll give this one actually you know a four out of five I like for the vocal thing, great. I love how it also get, uh, when you're playing music and you try to talk over top, as long as you're talking or singing, whatever you're gonna do, um, it actually overrides and really lowers the volume on that MP3. Record system, pretty easy. Click to record, click to stop, long press, click to play back. That's cool, uh, like that. So. That's where I'm at. I, I think that, you know, it is definitely a decent little unit. I think that if you're using it within the intended purposes of it and capabilities, I think that you're going to be pretty okay. Um, if you need a lot more horsepower than this, though, you know, they do have quite a variety of different uh, PA amps like this with headsets and whatnot. They have other items as well. Check out uh, Amazon with Windbridge. You get their products on Amazon. You can go right direct to Windbridge, see what they have in their entire arsenal of stuff. Um, and I think if I remember correctly, you can buy directly off Windbridge. Um, but uh, I have definitely seen a lot of their products on Amazon. So do check out Amazon as well for their products. Um, but I think this one, it's definitely, it, it's one of the better ones so far. So that's good. So, you know, we just, got this little thing that it, it, guys it's got to go so i know when bridge you're watching please get rid of this port system and replace it with a micro sd and i think you would definitely have a really super fantastic unit that would deserve a little bit higher rating than four out of five okay so that's all i got for you guys so thank you again winbridge for sending me this to check out um and uh if you guys want to know anything else well i think that's pretty much all we can tell you anyways um, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.